So this year I learned a lot about relationships. Um, one of the things that I learned is that it's important to guard your heart. You know, um, there was a time period, you know, in my life where I really did guard my heart and I didn't know how to properly place people. But this year I learned really how to properly place people. Um, because everybody doesn't deserve access to you. And, um, I, I specifically learned that with, with friends and I learned that you have to sometimes become unavailable because the same intentions that you have for a person may not be the same intentions that that person has for you. You know, um, I was on Facebook, um, stro scrolling and I came across a clip of, um, I came across a love and hip hop clip where Yandy was talking to Safari about their friendship. And she was like, you know, trying to ask him what was going on because, you know, it was a time period where Safari was down, I guess, and he really didn't have anyone. He didn't have support. And so he went to Yandy and, you know, she said that she was there for him and she was talking about, you know, um, you know, like, what's going on? I haven't heard from you. You're acting funny. And his body language and his his um, response was so, like, nonchalant. It was like, well, you know, I'm good and I'm, I'm doing things in my life and pr pretty much, like, I don't need you. And she started crying. And she, you know, went to the car or whatever. And she said, like, she don't understand why this keeps happening to her as far as friends. Like, she was like, I, I pray for my friends. I'm there for my friends. So I don't know this woman's life or whatever, but in that moment, I understood what she was saying because a lot of times, um, you know, I too felt like that, you know, and I, I started paying attention to the time period that people came into my life and I started becoming unavailable um, if that person did not match me. If you don't match, if you don't carry my same morals, you know, if you're not going where I'm trying to go, you know, if we don't have similar, you know, a similar mindset, then there is absolutely no reason for us to be around each other because one of the things that constantly was happening to me is that, um, you know, I will pour into people, you know, I will be friends with people, you know, and um, the same would not be reciprocated for me. And I started noticing, like, you have to pay attention to the time period that a person come into your life. You know, um, if, if a person come into your life and they don't have anything, you know, or they're struggling, um, you know, they don't really have any friends, they're not really doing good in certain areas of their life, it's, it's going to be hard for you to judge whether or not that person really um, wants you as a friend. It's going to be hard for you to judge if you're that person's first choice, if you're all that person has. So, of course, you're going to be good friends with that person. Of course, you and that person is going to get along because you're all that person has. And so, of course, that person is going to call you to vent 24-7 because you're all they have. Of course, that person is probably want, going to want to be in a relationship or whatever um, because you're all they have. So I stopped paying attention to when a person didn't have anything in their life. I started paying attention to when a person has everything in their life. When you have everything and you're comfortable and now you're all good, now I want to see if you're going to call me. Now I want to see if we're going to hang, you know, hang out. Now I want to see how your treatment is going to be towards me now that you are okay and you have everything in your life. Um... And I used to hang with people that was just not, you know, not, we didn't share the same mindset, you know. Um, every time I came from around them, I felt energetically drained. I felt depleted. Um, sometimes I would even feel sad, you know. They wouldn't share the same respect for me that I had for them. You know, that's a that's a real big one. Like if you if you constantly love on people around you and you constantly respect them, but you you feel like 
they don't do the same, you know, and you have to follow your, follow your gut intuition, follow what your spirit is telling you about a person. A lot of times we neglect our spirit because we want to be friends with people. You know, we've been, oh, I've been friends with this person for seven years. I've been friends with this person for high school. So no, that, that can't be true. How I feel it can't be true. If your spirit, you know, and your body is telling you that a person is not for you, I don't care how long you've been friends, how long you've known that person, how deep your history is, that person is not for you. If your spirit is telling you no, baby girl, baby boy is no. It's no. It means that person is not for you. And a lot of times when I learned, when I started learning how to properly place people, um, I started becoming really broken hearted at a lot of people that I had to let go. But I noticed that when I let these people go, um, you know, my life started to move better. I started to feel better. I had more energy. Um, letting the wrong people go, I started having people that come into my life that was actually for me, that could actually support you. You know, pay attention to people who are silent when you start getting blessings. It was times when I would show up at, you know, people's events and their celebrations, clapping loud, supporting them, cheering for them, showing up with big gifts in my hand and celebratory moment, you know, and when it came time, when it came my turn, people was quiet. You know, people didn't really, you know, say too much or nothing. When it came time for me to choose between um, one person or another, you know, I would try to balance it out and choose, you know, you know, my time so that I could have accompany both of my friends but when the shoe was on the other foot and I had people who had to choose between Gabby and someone else it was really quick for a person to choose that someone else because they were only really around Gabby for their own beneficial gain you know and you have to pay attention to people who are only around you when it suits them. And a lot of times we just look at money, you know, and materialistic things. That's the only thing that a person can, that that's the only thing that you can give a person. But pay attention to them people who constantly call you 24 seven to vent. And after they get finished venting, they never ask you how you doing. They never ask you what's going on in your life. Oh girl, let me tell you about this. Da 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 da. Girl, let me tell you what happened. Da 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 da. Girl, yeah, hour later. Da 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 da. Girl, yeah. Well, all right, girl, I'll call you back. They never ask you, like, how you doing? You know, what's going on in your life? And when it comes time to celebrate you, things are sometimes real quiet. Those are the type of people who you're really not their first choice. You're really, you're really not who they would be you know, usually hang out with. It may just be a season in their life where they don't have anyone but you, so they gravitate towards you. And when you have a good heart, you really have to guard it and you really have to pay attention to that because me, you know, I grew up having a good heart. I grew up loving everybody, you know, because I was loved on and I, and I was, you know, raised by people with good hearts. So in turn, that's all I knew. And so coming into society, it was hard for me to let people go because I used to always feel like, oh, well, they need somebody. They need love. They need support. They may very well need it, but you may not be the person assigned to give that to them. And you have to stop trying to take on assignments that were not assigned to you. You have to stop trying to take on, you know, battles and friendships and people that was not um, designated to be given to you. Because a lot of times that's what I did and I always used to fall short. And so... Um, I, I, I just noticed, you know, like recently I stopped responding to people that contacted me, you know, and I knew that they were contacting me for their own, you know, beneficial gain. No, I'm not going to text back. No, I'm not going to call back. No, I'm not going to pick up the phone. No, we not going to hang out. Yes, I am unavailable and I'm going to forever be unavailable. If we don't share the same morals, you know, if we don't share similar mindsets, you know, if you only pick up the phone and call me during certain times, that means I'm not a first choice in your life. And if I am not a first choice in your life as a friend, you know, uh, a girlfriend, you know, whatever, then that means we have nothing to talk about. And I have to keep you at bay, you know, um, 
And that doesn't mean that, you know, we have to let people go in a hostile way. You know, like in the past, when I used to find out that somebody wasn't for me, I would let them know, like, you just not for me. And you just, you know, we, we just can't be friends. And I would notice that that would cause animosity. Let, let your, you know, be led by your spirit. You know, like, um, you know, here lately, if I feel... Uh, inclination like something is not right about a person or a situation I'm gonna pray about it and after I pray about it and put it in, put it in God's hands I'm gonna let the free will flow meaning I'm gonna let what happens happens you know I remember um, you know just having those those feelings of you know, about a particular friendship, you know, I was like feeling like I think it may be time for me to move on from a particular friendship. And I was, you know, getting ready, ready to make a move and contact this person and tell this person, you know what, look, um, it, our friendship has run its course because sometimes some friendships do need, you do need to sit down, you know, depending on the, depending on the, 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 the um what's the word i'm looking for like depending on the setup of the friendship depending on the type of friendship that you have some friendships do need for both people to sit down and be like okay what's going on have, have we ran our course but other friendships you know sometimes y'all just drift apart naturally and it's just in life and one of the that's one of the biggest things i've noticed for my life you know i always make vision boards i always you know am goal oriented i always love the people that surround me and I noticed recently some of the people I had around me, they were still stuck. They were stuck in two, three, four years ago. And because they were stuck in that two, three, four year ago time period, that's the way that they treated me. And that's the way that they viewed me. And that's the way that they viewed life. And so because of that, we winded up having nothing else to talk about. So... Um, sometimes you just got to let stuff happen naturally. You know, I, I had prayed about the friendship and then later on, um, as I was listening to Pandora, a song by Yolanda Adams came on, you know, the battle is not yours, it's the Lord. So I'm like, I'm going to just let, you know, let it go. And I'm going to just put it in God's hands. A lot of times you don't have to call these people and make a big scene and tell them how you feel like they're not for you. You know, just let God handle it. You know, become, become so focused on yourself. Become so focused on yourself and your life and your goals that you literally see people when you see them. And that's a big way to know who's supposed to be in your life. If I'm working out and somebody called me right before I start working out, I can't pick up the phone, you know, because that's a distraction. If I'm trying to focus on myself, you know, the old Gabby will always pick up and try to pour into people, you know, and then when the tables were turned, that's another big thing. That's a big thing. I know the, that's one of the biggest things I noticed. I had to stop doing for people what they would not do for me. I'm sitting up here jumping over mountains, jumping over cliffs, doing backflips and handstands, and a person won't even walk two steps for me. That means that person does not hold you in the same light, and that person does not value you in the same light that you value them in, and that's a big problem. So that's one of the things I learned. I only go as far as a person goes for me. OK, and I'm not advising you to do tit for tat and things like that. No, what I'm advising you is to guard your heart, listen to your spirit and make sure you're not pouring from an empty cup. Make sure you're not giving people more than they're giving you. OK, because you're going to wind up depleted and hurt. OK, and bitter and make sure that you're not. um that you're not, that you don't have the wrong people in your life. You know, that's how I had to learn how to properly place people. And when I learned how to properly place people, you got some people in your life calling them friends and they should just be associates. You got some people in your life calling them associates and they should be friends. 
you know, and so you got some people in your life calling them friends and they're enemies, you know, you, and, and so pay attention to those people who, when you get your, your accolade, you know, when you get your, um, your blessings, you know, and they tell you, I see you got your little, your little car. I see you got your little apartment, you know, I see you got your little this and little that. What's little about it, sis? What's little about it? What's little about it, sis? Like, What's little, you know, pay or pay attention to the people who don't say nothing at all. You know, I used to pay attention to the people. I used to gas up, you know, when I have friends in my life, if you're my friend, I'm gassing you up. I'm telling you, oh, my God, I don't care if you swept a floor. I'm telling you, oh, girl, you swept that floor. You swept that floor, girl. But when it's your turn, you know, you really don't, you don't get that same support, you know, um, and you have to be mindful of that. And so that's one of the biggest things I learned this year and I'm going into next year with learning how to become unavailable because everyone does not deserve nor, you know, want to be attached to you. So learning how to become unavailable and learning how to guard my heart has really helped me and it's healed me emotionally um, because I've let go of a lot of people knowing that you were not meant to be in my life and you probably didn't want to be in my life. I just had something that you needed and that's okay. You know, now that I know that I can proceed to live my life accordingly moving forward, knowing how to properly place people and how to guard my heart. So that's my little spiel. Be blessed.